Welcome back. I'm going to be playing in San Myshuno again as Desmond. Let's just get right into it. Skip the intro. Last episode, I designed a, a high elf called Desmond. This dude knows nothing about human behavior. He was placed there by his little alien ship and now he's arrived in a city like, whoa. I gotta get a job in there. So he's got an apartment. I bulldozed a lot because I think it's more fun like that. Let's design a house to suit his elvish needs. Right. He enters the house. What is the most important thing to him? We're thinking of elven society. So, it's his throne room. Whenever people walk in, he wants to show them that he's already better than them. A long hallway. Do that. A little hallway in here. Here will possibly be the bathroom and that'll be his bedroom. Wow, I got all these funds. What shall I spend them on? A giant throne, of course. I wanna pick out some floors and wallpaper, but I can only do that if I properly see it with lights. So I'm gonna go in for lights first. I wanna pick like a chandelier sort of thing. I can always change these. Elves do not build their empire on wood. They build it on stone because it is stronger. Simple as that. There's a brick wall, and here is plaster. Separates the room in a very funky way. And then the floors will be made of this. It's a shame that they don't meet nicely together at the edges, but hopefully I'll manage to cover them up. Start with the important things first. An elf needs a throne. The shell's pretty nice. It's kind of elvish and it's pretty cheap, but this is more throne-like. Wow, such a big room. <laughs> yeah, this is very cheap and plasticky looking. The overlord has his chair. Now for some garnishing around the chair. I mean, these paintings would be ideal, but columns, very nice looking. You know what? This looks quite grand. Who knew that curtains would fit in? I guess like this. Okay, there's very little wall accessories that I can put on. So I'm going to use this light that actually comes in the San Machino pack. This looks more like a churchy feel. <laughs> Missing one more important thing, very important, which is a runner rug. It is important to have some extravagant plants. Extravagant as in big, to be honest. Oh, this is it's perhaps a bit too big, but I don't know. Yeah, it's too big. Okay, I've looked through a lot of plants now, and this is the closest to looking the best. Now, what is an elf without an extravagant bookcase? I'll develop on this a little later on. It's gonna save my money for now, but that's the sort of gist with his like little throne room. He still needs to eat. I'm getting this oven purely for the aesthetic. A nice cheap fridge to sort him out. Obviously gotta have a fire alarm. He's not a savage. Yes, let's put in some doors so we can move around and stuff. Ooh, modern elf. Nice, cheap, simple Dora Dinge. In it, in it, in it, in it. Same concept, let's move some lights in. Elf is used to sleeping in a cave. Let's make this room cave-like. This is so strange. I bet you can't even put a desk under that. How about a bedside table? Nothing. What's the purpose of this? Again, getting this purely for the aesthetic. This is interesting. It says to use it as a divider to split up rooms from your roommate, but in this case, I might use it as just like decoration. Nothing fancy for the corridor. And then I'll make the bathroom a little nicer because need to complement that beautiful view while you're taking a ranted. Yeah. <laughs> Although not necessary, pretty. Okay, and since I have some money left over, I'm gonna go get a dining table. Again, I want something pretty grand. It's a bit too grand for my budget. I'll get this one. There's so many more decorative items that come with San Machino. Just like loads comes of it. I'm so glad I got this back. And a dresser is important. Actually, I don't know why, because he's not gonna change his look ever, I guess. Again, I'm just getting it for the aesthetic. 
Okay, we have a throne fit for a king. A nice dining table so he can have guests over. Basic kitchen suits your basic needs. Toilet with an incredible view. Oh, I guess he needs a bathroom sink as well. Nice and cute. Now to develop his skills. Mira develops charisma skill, which is extremely important. He wants to fit into society. Facing his bed because he's a not the boy. Jeez, I totally forgot. How is he going to have any fun? I mean, I could have fun with an electronics-free environment. I just nap all the time. I guess the computer will be important. He will have to create a social media account. Oh my god. How embarrassing for him. I mean, I'm embarrassed having a social media account. I just don't post on it. I don't post on it because I don't take pictures of myself. <laughs> This is a really dingy corner. <laughs> he turns on the gas lamp to go work on his computer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave the build mode stuff here for today. I think I've got everything sorted. It's always difficult starting off building things from scratch, but that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to give him a personality in his house. I'll just start playing now. Obviously, he starts with making the garden salad. Well, at least he's making a garden salad and not trying to cook something on the oven. He would definitely burn the house down. Look at him. He's already cutting his fingers off. Ramsey would not approve. You're going to die from blood loss before you manage to feed yourself. Look at him. Enjoying his loneliness. You're cooking again. What are you doing? He's going to set the house on fire. What a noob. Morning log with your nice view. Beautiful. <gasps> no! People are coming to welcome him. Desmond's fight or flight has been activated. Four people. Oh my God, he's not gonna enjoy this. Oh gosh, it's fruitcake. He's already getting extremely tense being around strangers. Tell this stranger how much you hate being around people that is sure to get the conversation flowing. Seems like she accepted it. Maybe she relates. You're all monkeys. <laughs> oh, he's the first sim that I've ever had that likes fruitcake. I guess he's a weirdo, so yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Thank you for your fruitcake. I guess I can be friends with you. You have given me a meal that is not poison. How does he know my number? Look, he's not tense from being a loner anymore. He's enjoying his company. How nice for Desmond. This dude called me up. He doesn't even know who I am and he's just playing on my computer. How does he know that I have a computer? Hasn't even said a word to me yet. I'm making good friends of these two. Apparently, Desmond enjoys. Apparently, Desmond trusts. Maybe he's not so different after all. Or maybe these two are just completely oblivious. A big goal is to get to know other sims so they can eventually move into my household. Desmond wants someone to become very good friends of him to teach him the human ways of life. <gasps> she sat on the throne. I'm gonna have to be mean to her. You do not sit on the throne. I sit on the throne. It is for me. Oh, I guess they're leaving. Bye. Okay, I'll stop that here for now. Thanks for watching me setting up Desmond's life. I know it's a bit of a slow start, but baby steps, baby steps. I'll be putting out another episode soon, so stay tuned for that. For now, if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram, underscore Ricky, underscore Anderson. Listen to my music, it's available anywhere. Spotify, SoundCloud. I'm in the process of writing a small album, an EP, and I'm gonna be rapping in it. <laughs> rapping? Me? I never thought so, but here I am. Someone said I'm good at it and I should try it out, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Thanks for watching, see you later. Bye bye!